Uh, I think I'll start with my name. I'm Sheila. Oh, you know. I like food. A lot of food. I study quantity surveying. I'm okay. I'm a writer. I'm a musician. I'm an instrumentalist. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm, I'm a jack of all trades. I do quite a number of things, yeah. Eh, I don't know if cheats count. <laughs> but, oh my goodness. Yeah, so that, that must have been about P... P4? P4. Because there's this boy I had a crush on. So I bought him a ring. And I went... <laughs> I wrote him a message and then I think I decided well I have a way with words and I went on from there He blames me began as my own story really um, I, I obviously changed some things because I don't have an abusive father and what it started as a girl who had an abusive father who then gets an abusive um, boyfriend who this this just disappoints her so for me basically it's that the men in my life apart from my father maybe had betrayed my trust so it was more of a depiction of what my own struggle was and through the workshop that was brought to light and I was brought to tears in front of everyone but the learning curve then brought me to write a story that was more focused on a revelation of the lies people tell. You know, everyone is living their own masquerade. Everyone is walking around with a mask on their face. They don't want other people to know what's going on in their lives. Or they lie to those who they think they love or those who they actually love. And usually those lies eat us up alive. It's a short story, so I didn't get to, you know, do the whole revelation when the lie is discovered and all. So he blames me is it's about lying and being lied to. No, someone oh they can. Um I have been guilty of of doing No it does not, but it still hurts when the lie is discovered. Case in point, myself, I think even now, because I was writing about, there's a friend I had who said I had forced her into being her, my friend. Like, you know, it seemed like a normal, you know, friendship, but it, it was bad for me because that was the time when I had just gotten out of my shell, choosing to actually be myself. I was very introverted before because of all that I had gone through. And that destroyed me because I felt like I had been living a lie the whole time and fine we were really good friends so I do not know whether she was lying to me or I was lying to myself or you know so I think we can lie to those we love it's just that it will hurt those we love when they discover it it was new for me because I've never written a short story before um, the, when I went for the workshop, I felt, my first day I was really intimidated because I felt like I'm the youngest here, I'm the amateur, I've never done anything, everyone is maybe lawyer or, you know, activist or people who actually do words for a living. And with time I realized these guys are really nice, down to earth, willing to help, open, very big hearts so it was for me i found a sort of family with with the people we worked with in the workshop and then i was blessed to have nick makoha as my mentor so it was just a continuation of the workshop for me because i already worked with him and he knew my story he knew he knew my background he knew where i was coming from in my writing so it was yet another Growth. He really challenged me and pushed me, but I'm glad because I discovered limits I didn't, you know, I had put for myself and I was able to break them. Then the editing was also new for me because I did not authors go through all that because there's a lot that I never really paid attention to. I thought I knew English, evidently I don't. Yeah, and lo and behold, we finally 
launch the book. Writism has given me a chance to actually start a new part of my writing that I didn't know I actually had. So I think it's a really, really, really good initiative because, okay, maybe because I would never have written a short story if I had never heard of writism before. It was actually Boisidio who pushed me to write my short story. So I believe that writism is doing what it was actually meant to do. It's pushing us young writers to write and discover that we are actually writers and not just people who write cheats to boys. <laughs>